Today we're gonna to be talking about real estate versus stock investing and how investing in real estate destroys investing in the market. So let's jump into it. What's going on guys, this is Chandler Smith and I wanna talk about the difference between investing in real estate and investing in the stock market. And first off, you need to know I am biased because I own over 60 doors of rental real estate. And I'm also taking advantage of this Christmas season because as many of you know, this Christmas in 2018, the stock market on Christmas Eve took one of the biggest drops ever. As a matter of fact, the S&P 500 index fell by 2.7% on Monday, making it the first session before Christmas that the broad market benchmark has booked a loss of 1% or greater. The Dow Jones Industrial Average actually finished down 653 points or 2.9%, representing the worst decline on a session prior to Christmas in a 122 year old blue chip gauge history. Now those are some pretty crazy numbers and as you can imagine, there are tons of people that have invested in the stock market that had a terrible Christmas Eve. However, I was not one of them because I have invested solely in real estate. So today I'm gonna talk about the 10 reasons why investing in real estate is way better than investing in the stock market. And the first one goes right along with the Christmas spirit of what happened this Christmas Eve with the huge drop in the market. And the reason I wanna talk about this is in the stock market, you can have these drastic and immediate changes, whether that's for an increase or a decrease. And that can be really hard on someone's emotional state, but it also just sucks to have your money locked up in something where you could lose all of it instantly based on the market. Where in real estate, if you do it correctly, things are extremely consistent. Whatever happens in the market, I don't care about because I have consistent cash flows coming in from renters. So that's the first big negative of the market is drastic and immediate change. The second huge reason to invest in real estate is that you can get consistent cash flows. Now you can still get dividends on the right stocks and that's awesome. And that's why people do find success and I'm gonna tell you, it's still a good option if you know what you're doing, but when it comes to real estate, you're buying something that if you've bought it correctly, it doesn't matter what the market does, you are getting a check every single month that is consistent income and consistent cash flows. And that's huge. And so I definitely think that's a huge advantage in comparison to most stocks or mutual funds that you might invest in. The third huge advantage of investing in real estate is that you're not doing things based on speculation. Now, there are a lot of people that do purchase real estate just hoping for appreciation of their property or just hoping that someone will buy it for more down the road than what they paid for it. I don't believe in this kind of investing, whether it's in stocks or in real estate. And in real estate, you don't have to worry about speculation if you're buying for cash flows. And when you buy for cash flows, that means that your home value could go up and down like crazy and it wouldn't matter because every single month your renters are paying you a check and you're getting consistent income. So for some people that have invested in the stock market and they look and say, holy cow, on Christmas Eve, I just lost all of the gains that I've gotten this last year. I'm not saying that because every month I was receiving that cash flow. And the reality is when you look at the stock market, lots of people will pitch, hey, consistently we've gotten between an eight and a 12% return. Well, here's the deal, on cash flow alone, you should be getting more than that. On most of my properties, I am cash flowing to where I'm getting a 15 to 25% return on my initial investment every single year. So just comparing cash flows with having your money in the market, you are still winning and we haven't talked about any of the other advantages of real estate. So this is another huge reason that real estate is way better than investing in the market. Now in the last point, I talked about how I don't invest out of speculation, but the reality is if you are investing out of speculation, 
I still believe that real estate is a way better of an investment than stocks. And let me explain why. If you learn to use leverage when you're purchasing real estate, then you are getting way higher returns on that appreciation or on that speculation of what your home will sell for down the road. Now, with stocks and bonds, you're buying saying, hey, the market has consistently done X, let's say 10%. All right, when you look at home values, they've consistently appreciated at three to 5%. And in this market right now, it's actually been substantially higher. But the cool thing about real estate is that your money is leveraged. So you're purchasing a $100,000 property with only $25,000. So if you're only getting a 3% increase or appreciation in your home value, you only have 25% in that. So you're gonna take that number and multiply it by four. That means even a 3% appreciation is giving you a 12% appreciation or increase. Now, I'm not telling you to buy out of speculation because I don't like that stuff. But when I'm buying and I'm getting this huge cash flow of the 15 to 25% I talked about, it doesn't mean I'm not still getting that appreciation that we've consistently seen in home values just like we have in the stock market. And so the reality is, once again, you have another facet of investing in real estate that is competing, if not beating, the market. And that's just another way that you're making money for your real estate. So in my mind right now, we've talked about two different things that are literally doubling our returns in comparison to the average in the market. The fifth point I wanna make is just reiterating the other points that I've already made in that you are getting appreciation. So if you're investing for speculation, I think it's sixes between the market and investing in real estate. On top of that, you're getting cash flows. So again, that's another form of income. On top of that, if you have leveraged your property, you're getting principal pay down, which means every month when you're paying that loan payment, not only are you getting those cash flows on top of it, but a portion of that loan payment is going into your property as a savings account to where that money is your money locked up in a property that is appreciating in value. On top of that, you're also getting huge tax benefits that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. So you have multiple ways that you're getting income from real estate. And a lot of those ways, you're not getting those same advantages if you had your money locked up in the market. For my sixth point, I want to go more in depth on the tax benefits. Now, everyone that's investing in the stock market will say, look, you're on a capital gains tax rate, which is way lower than being taxed as if it's income like you would be in real estate. And that is very true. But here's the part they're not talking about is all of the depreciation and the other expenses you're able to take on that real estate investment. And so the reality is, even though it's getting taxed as income, I truly believe that you're actually paying less percentage wise than the capital gains rate because of how much of that you can use depreciation to offset that income. And a lot of you are saying, whoa, 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 you're just pushing that back, all right? You're delaying when you're gonna pay those taxes. That's true, but I will tell you, I'm never going to pay those taxes because you can always 1031 exchange into bigger properties. You can also accelerate the depreciation on a lot of your appliances and your carpet and other things in the property to where you can hold on to them, depreciate them over a five year period, flip them into a bigger property without paying any taxes on the increase that you've gotten. And so when you look at taxes in the market or that capital gains rate in comparison to real estate, real estate once again, destroys the market. The seventh point I wanna make just reiterates what we talked about in five, and this point is focusing specifically on that principal pay down. And what I love about principal pay down is it forces people to save a portion of their money because every month in their payment, a small portion of that payment is going into the savings account that is their property. And again, that should be considered income because it is going into the property to where when you sell the property, that money is yours. And that's another huge advantage of investing in real estate 
that you're not going to see anything comparable when it comes to investing in stocks and bonds. Because once again, things can go up or down, but all of that is determined on the market. There's no guaranteed money that has been set away for you like there has been in real estate. All right, the eighth point I wanna talk about is one of my favorites, and that is that real estate never makes you sad. <laughs> now, that's a funny point to make, but it's true. In the market, when it's going like this, it is just an emotional roller coaster for people. And I can promise you on Christmas Eve, there are lots of people that were torn up, even people that are good investors that know to not act on those emotions and still think about it analytically, it still sucks. Where when it comes to real estate, if the market is going up, we're stoked because that means all of our property values are going up. That means rents are going up. That means things are good. Now, when the market goes down, if you've invested properly for cash flows, you might have slightly lower rents, but nobody's upset. And the reason nobody's upset is because they know now they have an opportunity to go in and to buy more real estate at a discount. And that's another huge advantage because now they can get into real estate that they know is going to have appreciation to come that's gonna be huge. And these properties that they're buying way low are going to have huge cash flows when it comes to dealing with their renters. And so once again, you're not sad like you are when you invest in the market because regardless of what the market does, if you've invested properly and you're investing in real estate, you're gonna be stoked because either way, there are advantages you're gonna be able to find. The ninth point I wanna make is that the stock market and real estate are very different when it comes to the actual value that you have. And what I mean by this is if the stock market crashes, all right, and the real estate market crashes, everything is on a low, what do you wanna have control over? This house that can provide someone with somewhere to live or that can help your family or that has a storage or that has all of these different uses because you actually have something or a chunk in the market of some company or of the market as a whole or a mutual fund, for me, I'm gonna take the property all day because it has real value. You actually own something that has a use that will always have a use for either you or someone else. And I think that's a huge advantage when comparing these two investments. All right, we made it to the final point and being the Christmas season that it is, this is probably my favorite point. And that is that not only are you getting something of value, not only are you getting way higher returns, better tax benefits, all of these other advantages that real estate provides over investing in the market, but you're actually buying something that gives value to someone else. When you buy a home and rent it to someone, that's giving them a home, a roof over their head, a place to create memories, to have experiences, to be with their family, to see their family grow. And as many of you know, the place that you live, it's sacred, it's important, it's huge to you. And that's another thing that I love about real estate. When you compare that to buying a portion of a company or multiple companies in a stock that you really have no control over, that you have no impact on someone else's life, and then comparing it to real estate where you're able to provide someone with somewhere to live and create all of those memories, to me, that is so much more valuable and a way better investment money and everything else aside. Even though all those other things, let's be honest, are also better. So at the end of the day, invest in real estate. It's the best place for your money for multiple reasons. And if you do it properly, you can create a huge passive income for yourself. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Thanks guys, have a great day. <laughs>